in the vast expanse of the Milky Way, where a staggering 100 billion stars dance in the cosmic ballet, certain celestial events remain as rare as a gem hidden among the sands. A collision between two neutron stars, those incredibly dense remnants of massive stellar explosions, tightly bound on a decaying orbit, belongs to this category of astronomical wonders. Scientists estimate that, within our galactic neighborhood, only around 10 neutron star binaries are destined for such a dramatic meeting. It's a rare spectacle, and one that raises intriguing questions about its potential impact on life as we know it. Up to this point, we've managed to observe only a handful of kilonova explosions that follow the collision of these neutron star binaries. Remarkably, none of these explosive displays have graced our own Milky Way. But what if, one day, a kilonova decided to make our galactic home its stage? What would be the repercussions for life on Earth? Physicist Hale Perkins and her team from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign decided to delve into these cosmic conundrums. Their findings, shared on the preprint server Archive, paint a picture that might send shivers down your spine. In the unfortunate scenario of a kilonova occurring in relatively close proximity, the consequences may not be as kind as we would hope. The most immediate peril, as outlined by Perkins and her colleagues, would come in the form of cosmic rays, provided we are not directly in the path of the kilonova's gamma ray burst. At a distance of 35 light years, you might still breathe a sigh of relief. However, if fate places us within the path of that gamma ray burst, the distance required to avoid calamity narrows down to a mere 300 light years. The catch? We need to be positioned with pinpoint precision a kylanova could unveil the deadly capabilities of space, and that is a truth we cannot ignore. While these revelations certainly have implications for our existence, they extend further into the realm of astrobiology. It is a lesson in understanding the odds of life surviving on otherworldly realms in the vicinity of such star-shattering events, events that burst forth with radiation capable of stripping away atmospheres Let's deconstruct the mechanics of binary neutron star collisions, guided by the limited knowledge we've gleaned from the handful we've observed so far. Typically, these events commence with a short-lived burst of gamma radiation, distinguishing them from the longer supernova bursts associated with collapsing single stars. This gamma radiation surges out in the form of narrow jets, originating from both sides of the colliding stars, Additionally, as the jets battle through the material discarded during the kilonova, they form gamma-ray cocoons, cocooning the phenomenon in an eerie shroud of radiation. As these jets collide with the surrounding interstellar medium, they unleash powerful X-rays, an X-ray afterglow of cosmic proportions. The situation doesn't end there. Over the course of years to centuries, a bubble of cosmic rays emerges, expanding outward from the epicenter of the neutron star collision. The repercussions for any planet caught in the crossfire are indeed staggering. Perkins and her team, in their quest to evaluate the impact of these events on a planet, draw upon the knowledge we have from the first ever detection of a neutron star collision. 170,817. Their findings paint a dire picture. Anything within the narrow range of the jet up to a distance of 297 light years, is likely to meet an untimely end, courtesy of the formidable gamma radiation. Beyond this perilous zone, safety emerges, but it's not an open invitation to a cosmic picnic. For gamma radiation emanating from cocoon structures, you would need to be positioned within a range of approximately 13 light years to catch its destructive embrace. The threats, albeit devastating, do have a silver lining in terms of their duration. The stripping of Earth's stratospheric ozone by these celestial events would require about four years to mend. However, the real lurking danger comes from the X-radiation, which stubbornly lingers much longer than its gamma-ray counterpart. Even so, it demands relatively close proximity, 
within approximately 16 light years to pose a threat. The ultimate menace, as uncovered by the researchers, arises from the long-term cosmic ray bubble propelled by the remnants of the kilonova. These relentless cosmic rays would inflict severe damage by stripping away Earth's protective ozone layer. The planet would become vulnerable, subjected to relentless radiation for potentially thousands of years. A catastrophic mass extinction event could ensue, a nightmare scenario that would necessitate the presence of the kilonova within a mere 35 light years. The twist in this cosmic tale is that, for now, we can rest somewhat easy. The likelihood of a binary neutron star merger occurring in our cosmic backyard is exceedingly slim. In fact, when considering the scale of threats to life on Earth, kilonovae barely make the cut. There are far more immediate and pressing concerns, such as the potential for giant solar flares originating from our own sun. Beyond that, we should be wary of asteroid impacts and the catastrophic fury of supernova. In the grand scheme of cosmic calamities, Kilanova, while undeniably hazardous, might not top the list of our immediate worries. As the researchers aptly put it, the rarity of binary neutron star mergers, combined with a small range of lethality, means that they are probably not important threats to life on Earth. We find that the mean recurrence time of lethal mergers at the location of the Sun is much larger than the age of the universe. These events, while not likely to trigger mass extinctions, could still reveal themselves to us in a dramatic display of cosmic fireworks, a powerful reminder of the capricious nature of the universe. So, perhaps the question we should ponder is not whether we should fear the kilonova, but rather, how we might harness our knowledge of these celestial phenomena to shape our future and safeguard our existence on this pale blue dot in the vast expanse of space.